So this is what a lot of shoot style Deku's online do, and then I'll show what you actually should be doing. So this is the Regi combo. They do something like this, and they might even dash cancel again if they want, but I'll leave it like that because that's already one dash cancel. It's going to be even more damage, and I believe I can do even more damage if I let some more hits of this hit. Oh no, that might miss. Oh no, there we go. 10,800 damage for a single dash cancel. 10 or 11,000 damage combo for free. Oh, just cancel with this early. Wow, that was 10,000 damage for zero dash cancels. That's fair. I love that. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Let me try that again. Twelve thousand three hundred damage for a single dash cancel combo, guys. At the end, so a lot of the time you can just end in, in the normal combo route and just do something like this. And then you're getting eleven thousand four hundred damage, which is crazy. And it's even, like, possibly easier than the other combos that I see a lot of Deku's doing online. Dash cancel per combo. If you're doing a lot of combos, if you, like, have a lot of meter, you realize, you can just, you have, you'll, oh, you're most likely gonna have your plus ultra too, quite often. Which means, if you get a touch and you realize your opponent nearly has their support back or something, you can just, um, cancel any attack into this, and then you're going to <clears throat> get a big chunk of damage that they can't interrupt. So if they're like, oh no, I've got to make sure I have my supports for when he does his huge combos, just do your plus ultra too, and you're going to get like 20,000 damage, and they can't interrupt it. <laughs> There we go. 11,200 damage for a single dash cancel. That's pretty fair if you ask me. And the same thing also applies off of this type of combo. Oops. Twelve thousand two hundred damage for a single death. Okay. So now let's get into his combos. So I'm sure you've seen this bread and butter combo a lot of time online. This is what shoot style Deku's like to do. Actually, a lot of the time they don't even put that red grab in. So this is what a lot of shoot style Deku's online do. And then I'll show what you actually should be doing. So this is the regular combo. They do something like this. And they might even dash cancel again if they want, but I'll leave it like that because that's already one dash cancel. I usually only like to do one. 10,300 damage. By no means is that bad. That is definitely above average damage. That's really good. But you can actually add in some red attacks and make it more optimal. So if I do this and dash cancel, oops, and don't mess up. Dash cancel into the red attack and then do this. It's going to be even more damage. And I believe I can do even more damage if I let some more hits of this hit. Oh no, that might miss. Oh no, there we go. 10,800 damage for a single dash cancel. Pretty OP and definitely top tier if you ask me. So yeah, that's a bread and butter combo you're going to be doing almost all the time with Deku. And he can do practically the same thing in the air as well. Like if you get a combo starting in the air, you do practically the same thing. Oops, I messed that up. <laughs> but even that was a lot of damage. There we go, 10,700 damage, which is still 
extremely amazing damage for a single dash cancel. But, what if I told you, there are combos that you can do that gets you even more damage. And I did a short video um, recently showing that he can get suspiciously high damage that I haven't actually seen people do these combos online, but they're pretty scary. So, and they involve using his projectiles as combo extenders. So, you saw even that there? Three hits into a projectile? That was 7,500 damage, which is like a lot of damage. Like, that's like a full combo of Toga right there. That is all her damage, and he hasn't even dash cancelled. So, I can dash cancel it, as I said. Oops, I messed it up. Messed it up, still got 9,000 damage. So, if I go three hits into the projectile. Oops, messed it up. Let me try that again. Twelve thousand three hundred damage for a single dash cancel combo, guys. Is that not crazy to you? That's ridiculous. A single dash cancel, like, and he can do that all the time. It's not like characters like muscular or um, even like a hundred percent Deku that has to use a plus ultra or something, and they have to be in a charge state. Hundred percent Deku can get that all the time, consistently. Twelve thousand three hundred damage. So that was three hits. Into the projectile, into armor move, into the charged regular projectile. And the damage can vary, see there, I only got like about 12,000 damage. But the point is that you're getting huge damage with combos that aren't that hard. 12,000 damage, see that was a bit less. But still, 12. Uh, Who's gonna complain about 12,000 damage? It's ridiculous. And obviously, um, sometimes it, the um, last part can be a bit inconsistent, because sometimes the projectile comes back at you, or if you're not facing a wall, so like if say if you close to this wall, and I start up like here, you can get the first part really consistently, but sometimes if you're not in a corner for this last part, you're not gonna get that charged projectile at the end. So a lot of the time, you can just end in, in the normal combo route, and just do something like this. And then you're getting 11,400 damage. Which is crazy! And it's even, like, possibly easier than the other combos that I see a lot of Deku's doing online. Okay, I was seeing if I could make it any longer, but I can't, which is good. So, yeah, he gets huge damage, very easy damage. And, yeah, so this is a bread and butter that you actually should be doing, that I never see Deku using online. Maybe because it's a bit harder, it still does huge damage even if you mess it up there. See, look, I messed it up, I didn't even get the high damaging, I didn't even finish with this massive thing at the end, but it still did 10,000 damage, which is above average damage, even if I mess it up. So, pretty ridiculous, and this is why I'm saying you practically never need to use his plus ultra one. Because, well, what's the point? If I can get this much damage by using a single dash cancel, 12,300 damage for a single dash cancel, it's more than I could get with my plus ultra 1 in, like, most situations. Why would I ever do that? Even though it can be broken, I can just go for it again and use up all their supports and do these things. There's just no point in using it, in my opinion. Because, and, like, he practically has the moves from his plus ultra 1, you can just do for free, it's these projectiles, and I can combo off of these super easily. <laughs> and get huge damage, oh, it's crazy. Um, it's plus ultra too, sometimes because if you're only doing one dash cancel per combo, if you're doing a lot of combos, if you like have a lot of meter you realize, you can just, you have, you'll, oh, you're most likely gonna have your plus ultra too, quite often. Which means, if you get a touch and you realize your opponent nearly has their supports back or something, you can just, um, cancel any attack into this, and then you're going to, <clears throat> get a big chunk of damage that they can't interrupt. So, if they're like, oh no, I've gotta make sure I have my supports, for when he does his huge combos, just do your plus ultra 2 and you're gonna get like 20,000 damage and they can't interrupt it. It's crazy, and this much damage 
like the, this much life that the opponent has left is nothing to shoot style Deku. Like, I mean, 100% Deku. I keep saying shoot style. Like, I can eliminate that in a second with, with this character. Like, that little bit of health that he had, I can just do a projectile, dash cancel. If they don't get hit by the projectile, well, then they'll get hit by my combo, probably. And you can just take it, that piece of health that they had super easily. And you can also... Oops. I'm pretty sure he can get his plus ultra 1 or his plus ultra 2 from his red attack. Okay, not, not his plus ultra 1, maybe his plus ultra 2. So this just makes his red attack even scarier, because he can get it from his completely overpowered red attack. That the only bad thing about the red attack is that you can't get anything off of it, but if you have your plus ultra 2, you can get something off of it. So it just makes it super, super crazy overpowered. So like, if you have your plus ultra 2, and you're in the neutral, you can actually... What, what's crazy? Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Or I think this is right, I might be wrong, it's going to be embarrassing. But if I do it from over here... I was pressing the plus ultra 2 button, but it doesn't come out, because you can't cancel a button on whiff. So I've, done, I've been doing my red attack and press the plus ultra 2 button, but I'm not going to waste my plus ultra 2. So practically every time you have your plus ultra 2, you can press your red attack and be mashing the plus ultra 2 button, and if it hits, you're going to go into the plus ultra 2 and get this like 18,000 damage for free. So if they're trying to dash or sidestep or anything, if they get hit by this move, if they get hit by the red attack, which is overpowered and hits running opponents and it hits everything, they're getting hit by 18,000 damage. And if you miss somehow, like maybe they're in the air or they run too far away, then you just, you whiff it and nothing, you haven't wasted your plus ultra 2. It's crazy, you, you have, that's what in um fighting games like Mortal Kombat 11, that's what we call an option select, so you get the best of both worlds. So I either whiff and I haven't used my plus ultra 2, or if I manage to hit you, like even when you're dashing around, which should make red attacks miss, but not this one, if I hit you, I'm going into plus ultra 1. Now I won't make you watch that again, because we've already seen it a few times. I mean, I'm going to... Yeah, so it's, it, he's so strong, guys. It's, it's crazy, and I think I've covered his combos. That's practically all you need to see. So there's... He has a few different types of combo routes. See that one in, in the, so you either have the ones you can do with the projectiles, or the ones you can start off using this, his armor attack into his quirk 2 string. Both the valid and do decent damage, just the projectile one does a bit more. If you get a combo from the air, you can do something like this. Oops, I messed it up. Sometimes it only works if you're near a corner. So if you realize you're near any kind of wall, you can get a high damage in oh, I didn't that work. Yeah, either way, you, even if you do a combo like this one, you're gonna get 10,000 damage. Even if it resets in the air, it's okay, because they're gonna have to just guard or something, and that's very unlikely. Anyways, guys, I think I have to stop talking about full Kaling Deku before I start crying. But essentially, he's a crazy overpowered character. He has awesome projectiles, great zoning. He can zone you out to, like, to, to hell. Like, these projectiles, you're gonna get 6,500 damage. Even more if you use the vertical one, because it does more damage. And it can catch people jumping. He, they, these moves have crazy good tracking. These projectiles, so he can zone you out. And if he catches you, he has crazy good guard pressure. So your guard's practically gonna be broken every time. If you don't fall... You know how I was talking about these mix-ups before that he has on block? Which are really good with these red attacks. So like, you practically lose against him if you block. But also, if you th they think I'm gonna go for that red attack, I go for this, and they, they, they practically just die. Like, if you block against him, there's the mix-ups where there's the projectile, or the red attack, and... It's, it's so evil! I hate it so much! I messed up, but I'm still getting huge damage. And he has, like, the weird mix-ups with his red attack, with the option select, where he can always get his plus ultra 2 consistently off of it. He, or he just doesn't use it. He's just so strong, guys. He has limitless strengths. And I that's all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!